people welcome back to my channel happy new year it is 2022 and i'm back with my first video of the year this video has been a long time coming i feel like i don't know why i've never done it you guys can see with the title below it is the never have i ever tag my gloves off this is a pro tier wine it's a cab salve I'll show a picture of it on screen. Oh, yeah, I'll show a picture of it on screen. That's the wine I'm buy That's the wine I'm drinking today. Um, so you can go buy it. It's a very nice cab set. And yeah, we're gonna start off with the video. Let's just jump right in. But please, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you are subscribed. What are you doing? It's for free, even. You need to subscribe, you need to like the video, you need to comment, and you need to share. And if you want to, you can push you can click on that push notification bell as well so you'll know when i've uploaded a new video so let's just get right into it um i posted on my instagram please go follow me on instagram if you haven't already my handle will be on screen or you can click the link in the description box for all my social media platforms i asked on my instagram what would you guys like to ask me for my never have i ever tag like please send me your questions and the people definitely delivered. They delivered. We have a total of 31 questions in total. But I'm going to try, I'm not, I'm going to try my best to not make this video too long. and But then also just answer if I have, if I haven't, whatever. So, never have I ever, you ask, never have I ever worn red shoes. If you have, you take a sip. So let's start off with the first question. It's a bit spicy for a first question. Never have I ever kissed a guy 10 years older than me. I have not. The oldest, the, like the age gap in terms of guys, I only need guys older than me. Currently single, currently single. That maybe I might not be for very long. Who knows? I might not be single for very long. I'm not saying anything else other than that. But I've never kissed, kissed a guy 10 years older than me. The oldest that I've dated was, he was seven years older than me. Never have I ever paid for a date. I have. I'll explain just now why. This is. Mmm. It's nice. Guys, I don't wear red lipstick often, hey? Aren't you guys surprised? Are you guys pleased? Of course I've paid for a date, guys. When you date somebody for a very long time, you end up paying for your dates. Like, the nigga can't be caring. I mean, if he really wants to, he can. But I've that's just not the way I was raised. I feel like if we're in a relationship, it's a partnership. Of course, I paid for a date. First date, though. Nay, nay. Nay, 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 nay. First date, sir. I do not touch my pets. Okay, as my friend's mother says. You don't touch your purse on the first date. I also don't touch my purse on the second date. Maybe I'll touch my purse on the third date. I feel like I'm I'm... I'm a bit old school in that regard. The first date, I would like for the man to pay because if he if if he asks, can we go Dutch? Then it's no longer a date, and you are no longer on my list of potential boyfriends. Sorry, that's just how I am. I I don't like paying for a first date. No, 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 definitely not. But paying for any date other than that, you know, I definitely have before. Uh, stolen something worth more than 50 rand i've never stolen anything but i also thought about this question like i've definitely borrowed something and not given it back i really have i think we've all done that but is that considered stealing like you just genuinely i genuinely forgot to give some things back and they were definitely worth more than 50 rand. But I genuinely forgot. And the person also didn't remind me. I genuinely forgot. Not that it's their responsibility. But I genuinely forgot. So I don't think that counts. But I've never stolen anything. Fourth question. Lied in an interview. No, I have never lied in an interview. And I mean, when the person says interview, I assume they mean like a job interview. I would assume. Um, I've never lied in a job interview. I feel like you're gonna if you lie in your job interview, you guys, it's, you're gonna get caught out one way or the other. You say you know how to use Excel like on this level. Meanwhile, you can only use Excel on this level. Hmm. You can only use Excel on this level. Meanwhile, they wanted to use for this level. And you said no, I can do this. Now, if they don't taste your capabilities, that's on them because I can say anything and get the job. 
but just you'll always i think lying about something is in a job interview especially lying in a job interview it's stupid because you're gonna get caught out like i think lying about stupid stuff is not just that it's just it's dumb and like how do you think you're gonna get away with it how sway how how like, sway take a few how do you think you're gonna get away with it because at one point or another you will get caught out lied about being sick to chill at home i have never ever ever done that ever I've never lied to my employer about being sick and chilling at home because again i feel like you'll get caught out and anyways you kind of need a sick note i know there are some employers that had employers in the past where oh, okay you're not feeling well rather just stay at home that was definitely pre-covid i say pre-covid it was like you had flu remember guys it, it actually i was telling my friends this, it baffles me and it's just so shocking how we as working people you would get even at school, not even working people, geez, even school kids, you'd get you'd have a flu or a cold, and you would still go to school or work knowing you are sick up until it gets so bad you need to see a doctor because you're self-medicating at that point. You up until you need to you're not getting any better, you need to see a doctor. The doctor says, Oh, you have bronchitis or something of that nature. And then you stay at home. We were spreading germs like crazy, but I have never lied to an employer saying I'm sick and then I'm just chilling at home. Uh, I've, Like I said, I've had employers where like they said, you're not feeling well, fine, don't come in, work from home. This was pre-COVID and I didn't have to bring a sick note. But each time I'm chilling and, you know, if I'm, work if I'm not working and I'm at home, it's because I'm actually sick and I have a sick note to prove it. It's just, don't do this. Don't do that. Don't, you'll get caught out at some stage. Don't do that. It's not necessary. Just don't do it. Okay, never have I ever had a one night stand. I can sip a little bit more for that one. Because it's happened more than once. I mean, Subadala, guys. Um, Subadala, if you are. Um, I don't know, Subadala, guys. Like, I don't know, if you're a little bit more. I don't want to say you're prude. But if that's not your vibe, great. But don't judge me. Don't judge me because I won't judge you. I I have. And oof, I remember it being nice. You know, the, sometimes when, when you don't remember the sex, it's questionable if it was good. But I know it was, yeah, it was it was nice. It was nice. I feel like... And this was when I was in varsity, guys. Like, varsity, guys, I have lived life. <laughs> Ooh, the, there are some things I won't ever share on this channel about the things that I've been through. But yeah, that's one of them. I did have a one night stand. Keep it wrapped up, okay? No glove, no love. Number seven, use someone's toothbrush without them knowing. I have, but I'll explain just now. I'll explain. So, it was my first... Uh, this only happened once, though. It was my first varsity boyfriend. My first real boyfriend, to be quite honest. My first real boyfriend in first year. I used to be in his res room a lot and I would sleep over and I remember like I think this I can't remember it was like maybe like the third or this fourth time that I slept over I forgot to pack my toothbrush for my room because you know you come with your bag yeah your boyfriend's res people who went to roads know this vibe you know there's the hill and then there was low, like it's it's the hill and then there's below the hill where the rays are so it was a bit of a distance not like his rays was around the corner so i forgot to bring my toothbrush i'm like and he had already gone to class he will hear it he went for a tutorial if i don't have a tutorial in the morning i would just chill in his room and then he would go to his tutorial so i didn't it needed to leave and i wanted to just leave brush my teeth before i go back down to my room so i used his toothbrush i mean without his no without i couldn't like text him hey can i use your toothbrush because he was in a tutorial you know so i just used it and then i told him after hey i use your toothbrush he was like oh okay cool it's fine we are sharing a lot of gems at that point <laughs> so just using a toothbrush won't really matter you know so that's really the only time and then he's like no yeah and then he kind of made it a thing where he would have another toothbrush in his room in case i forgot mine which is very sweet. But yeah, I mean, anyways, that's besides the point. So, okay, number eight. This one made me laugh so hard when I saw this question. Broken a fingernail 
trying to take out my menstrual cup i have not done that i have used my menstrual cup and i feel like the person who asked this question clearly that happened to you <laughs> clearly that happened to you for you to be so specific but that has never happened because guys i haven't used this menstrual cup a lot i have a menstrual cup it's on my shelf i do have a video about my experience with the menstrual cup on my channel that you can go watch up here but i haven't used it okay first and foremost when i use the menstrual cup i had short nails shorter than this these this set is quite short isn't this set cute i know it's coming across maybe as like a blue but it's really not it's supposed to be like a lilac but it's like it's lilac -y gray to me but I really like the set regardless. So I had nails shorter than this. Like I, I had actually my regular nails when I used the menstrual cup for the first time. And if you watch the video, I told you it's a bit of a hassle getting it in. Now it wasn't a hassle for me taking it out. So I have never, to break a fingernail while taking out your menstrual cup sounds absolutely horrendous. I've only used mine twice because it's a lot of, oof. It, it really takes some getting used to and a lot of people i know have been like girl just persevere i'm like girl i'm wearing a pad or a tampon i can't do all of this i can put a tampon no problem with nails longer than this you just you figure it out but i feel like with the menstrual cup you really need to get in there and uh, nah. number nine never have i ever slept with an ex i mean i feel like we all have We all have. Let's let's be honest. For closure, closure. Ha! The only closure you need is the one on your wig, guys. Closure. I just want to get some closure. I just want to like get. And then what happens next? Off, off. That? Don't do that. Don't sleep with your exes. It just causes more complications. Do not do it. Do not, I mean, those who can be friends with their exes, props to you, props to you, but for me, no, no, not for me, not for me, definitely not for me, but yeah, it's like when you're like, it's still new, oh, I miss you, oh, but we're still not like getting back together, but you want to still, I have, I think we all have at some stage of our lives or not, it just causes further complications and we learn from our mistakes. We don't do that now. It's about Dala. We're 28. We don't do that kind of nonsense. Once it's over, it's over. And you ain't getting none of this kitty cat no more. Um, number 10. Had sex in my boss's house while house sitting. Again, the person who sent this, clearly you have done so. And I'm not judging you. If, the if it was a bad boss, I'm not judging you. But if your boss was nice, that's a bit awkward, hey? But also, like, which boss asks their employees to house at their house? I feel like when you're house sitting, it should be a family friend or a friend, a family friend, somebody you know very well, not your employee, not even your co-worker, to be quite honest. Like, I'd have to know you very well. If I had my own house and I would ask somebody, can you please house it? I'm, I need to really trust that person. I feel like it's really awkward to just ask an employee. But I've no, I've never done this because I've never had the opportunity to. And if my boss did, I don't think I'd feel comfortable having sex in their house. That's just really awkward for me. I mean, if I had a person, if I had a boyfriend, I'd be like, yeah, come over and maybe we can make out and stuff like that. But go all the way in my boss's house. I feel like that's, that's a violation. That's a violation. Um, Number 11, had a crush on my friend's boyfriend. No, I've never done this because me and my friends, we have all very different tastes. Very, very different tastes. And okay, first and foremost, why would you have a crush on your friend's boyfriend? That's a bit suspect if you do. I mean, you could, I mean, you could say they're attractive, but not to have a crush. That's very personal and very intimate. That means you have actual feelings for them. And then, then you maybe need to look in within yourself and figure that out if you still want to maintain that friendship because if i found out that my friend had a crush on my boyfriend that would make things very awkward very very awkward but like i said my, me and my friends we all have different tastes not saying their boyfriends aren't good looking wonderful guys wonderful great guys for them not me <laughs> um uh, number 12 never have i ever kissed a girl yeah i have We'll take a long one for this because it happened more than once. Varsity, 
I told you, <laughs> I've lived life, guys. I have lived life in varsity that much I can tell you and thank you to Jesus Christ for getting me through and I got my degree at the end because oh guys if you know anybody or if you are a rodent like if you went to Rhodes University in the Eastern Cape in what used to be known as Gramstown but is now called Maganda you know that place is just <laughs> if you want to experience the American varsity life that we see in the movies in South Africa, go to Rhodes University. I I think, I mean, I don't know how it is now with Corona, but we lived life. We lived life. We lived life. It was nice. I have kissed a girl and yes, I did like it. It was just fun. It was just like, we were like tipsy and we're like, oh, I've never kissed a girl and we kissed. Number 13, never have I ever peeped through your man's phone. <laughs> my spillion uh -huh. but of course but of course what do you mean how could you not guys <laughs> like i feel like every woman in their life at some point does i feel like every person i'm gonna say every woman every person in their life so at some point you do whether it's your current or your ex you did at some point don't lie to yourself now don't lie to yourself of course i have did i find anything no and i did it more than one so more let me say to more than one boyfriend let me say that to more than one boyfriend i have would i do that now no no guys like peace of mind just hold on to your sanity more than anything else if you ever feel the need to peep through your man's phone, then you already know something is going on. Then you already know. You already know. Um, never have I ever stalked your ex on social media. My spillion. My spillion. Mmm. Mmm. Of course. Number one. My friends basically call me the FBI. I'm I am the FBI. Because let me tell you. If a nigga hollers at me, whether he slides in my DMs on Twitter or Instagram, maybe he might not have his full name on his profile, but maybe he'll have his, his just his name. I will find you. So I don't need your last name to find you. I will find you either on Facebook, on Twitter, or on LinkedIn. I will find your other social media platforms. You might not have a follow unfollowed each other on social media, but then when you do, if maybe you're not blocked, let's say if you're not blocked, I've definitely done it. That's how I found out one of my exes got married. <laughs> what do you mean? I was just curious to be like, not that I was jealous or anything, just curious to know where are they in life? Yeah, just know, want to know where are they in life? Oh, wow, you got married. That's great. But then I don't, I also, I think it's just a, hey, I think after that, I was like, okay, then you, may, you must never look at this person thing again. Because we're over him. We are past the whole situation. You, stalking your, your ex on social media does nothing for you and your mental health, guys. It does nothing for you. It, I think it will only... Because even if they're not doing well in their lives, which people obviously don't post that I'm not doing well in life. People always post the good things. You're going to feel like shit. Like, oh, he's really better off without me. So what's the point? Just don't do it. I've, I've definitely done it. I don't suggest doing it. Just let it go. Never have I ever cheated on my man. I have never, ever, ever cheated. Guys, if you're unhappy, leave. Please. I've never cheated on a man. It's not my spillion. I don't do those things. No. It's, I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very loyal. Never have I ever drunk down an ex. This is also, this, yeah, Spillion. <laughs> so, let me just say something here. You know when you break up, eh? When things don't work out. You're still feeling some type of way about them. Then the alcohol kicks in and you feel a little bit more oh guys this is <laughs> drunk dialing drunk texting 
yay and that is why i like to delete people's numbers and that is i promise you that is a good reason why i delete people's numbers if we haven't spoken or anyways we break up or whatever i'll delete your number if i keep your number the thing is but drank me is a bit she's very smart because i'll be like no i might still have an sms from that person i might have deleted you deleted our chat more whatsapp um i don't know what else twitter or whatever i think i've deleted your number i can go like oh i didn't delete that sms from him do you see the problem <laughs> do you see the problem never have i passed out drunk <sighs> I, I went to Rhodes university we drink rodents we drink so of course i have i will say the one time that it was really really bad <laughs> and i told myself never have more than three tequila shots because your body can't handle it and you will not remember what happened prior to this um there was one time i think it was in my I, did, I was at I was at Rose University for four years, so it was in my third year. We went out and we started drinking. I mean, the cocktails, the vodka, and vodka was my BFF. We were like this, me and vodka. Not 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 these days. Um, um, I loved vodka, and then we started having shots. Oh, we had the, no, also having Soko and Lime. Do y'all remember Soko and Lime, Southern Comfort and Lime? How that was the drink? Do you guys remember that? Maybe I'm showing my age, but that was used to be like the drink, you know? And then this was after my third tequila shot. I remember being on the dance floor and DJ Milkshakes. If if you don't know who DJ Milkshakes is, it's fine. I'm clearly I'm I'm older than you. It's fine. But if you do was on the decks i remember dancing literally the next thing i remember was waking up in my res room i don't remember how i got home i don't remember anything past that have i ever skinny dipped i never have i don't think i ever will um we have a pool here at home um why am i why am i why are you getting into a pool naked first and foremost do you know the chlorine in the pool that's gonna mess with your hoo-ha it's gonna mess with the kitty cat. I don't know why you people are skinny dipping. To be quite honest, like I've never skinny dipped. I've never had the the formal to skinny dip. I don't. I've never had it. I don't understand why can't you wear a costume. Um. So never have I ever dated two guys at the same time. I've never done that because again, I'm loyal. And when you say date, so. Even then, actually, even in that regard. So, of course, I've gone through a phase of seeing people, being asked out on dates, and nothing is concrete. Um, it's just, I don't want to say it's just violence, but you're getting to know this person, but there's been no commitment or any promises made on either side. So, I have, I will say I've gone out on dates in a similar amount of time and talked to guys on the phone at the same time um and but to be quite honest the one who i feel like i like more will get my attention more but i've never like date date i've never had a side nigga don't do that the next one is I never have ever done it in public this glass is empty -ish. i'm not gonna give details here just know i have I won't ever do it again. It was when I was in varsity. Never have I ever done anal. I have never done anal. I am not into butt stuff. You know, if you are, I'm, I don't, I am not, I, I'm not one to shame people for their kinks and what they enjoy in the bedroom. Do what you want to do with that person. You must both enjoy it. They must both be consent. Wonderful. Have a nice time. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. I do not judge anybody that is that anal. I think actually you're quite brave. In my books, you're quite brave. 
<laughs> but it's not it's not my vibe i don't i don't do any bad stuff and every, not even like you know not the whole not even just a little boop, boop. no 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 i recently learned what tossing salad means never have I ever been stood up and ghosted stood up and ghosted I have been ghosted and it's like why can't you just say what you're feeling with your chase why are you being a coward very recent it was literally this December uh there's a guy that we were supposed to go on a date and then the day of he tells me oh no my sister's in hospital or yeah something she has covid and okay he sent me photos as like evidence i didn't ask for photos which i found was very weird i'm like okay cool i'm like okay fine you know when she's fine and everything are you also fine have you tested negative because i wasn't about to go out on a date with a guy who possibly has covid y'all move funny out here i know some of y'all be moving funny out here you think you have covid you don't go taste because you're scared little mm, and then you have been spreading around covid no so i just checked he was like no i went to go taste i came out negative great so then um we reschedule our date and we're having chats in between video calls even nice good nandy Okay, the day comes for now, our rescheduled date. So we had just spoken the night before. Morning, I message him. Hey, I just want to still check what on for today. I hope you're doing well. Morning text. You know morning text vibes. Do, lo, 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 lo. Silence. Silence. I will. Two hours go by. The time we're supposed to meet is creeping. I'm like, hey, what's, what, what, what a one. What a one. Nothing. I'm like, I have been ghosted and stood up at the same time. At the same damn time. Mm. Never have I ever been in a physical fight. Not my proudest moment, but. Let me just give a synopsis of this. This girl, again, varsity. Guys, <laughs> guys, my life in varsity. <sighs> yeah, hey, yeah. So, this girl wasn't a very nice girl, was being mean to somebody I considered a friend or just a person I really got along with um, in varsity. And she was being very rude to her, knowing full damn well that she's not a confrontational person. I'm like, you've got the wrong one today, man. I'm the confrontational person. You won't fight with her, but you can fight with me. So we went at each other with words. And then it got physical. That's the only physical fight I've ever been in in my entire life. Entire, entire 28 years of life, that's what had happened, and that brings us to the end of the video, guys. As you can see, my glass is empty, and I went to go refill it, so I think maybe I had this amount. I don't know, we're feeling away right now. But thank you so much for tuning into this video, guys. The first video of 2022. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below before you go. Make sure you like, comment, and share this video and click on the push notification bell to find out for the next video that's coming very, 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 very soon. Stay safe, make very good choices, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.